guys, Edith Essentials here. I'll be starting off this project with hula hoops. And I got these hoops from the Dollar Tree. I was gonna use cardboard box with the hula hoops for the project, but then I changed my mind and I decided to use plastic instead because I had some lying around at home and I wanted to use them, but you can definitely use cardboard for yours. The width is going to be 12 inches and when I'm done cutting it to size, it will be attached around the hula hoops. I usually have these plastic sheets in a very long roll, but I've used a lot of them and these are the pieces. Now, if I had a long roll, I would have just wrapped it around and attached them to the hoops. But doing it this way is still okay using the pieces because the hoops is gonna give me the shape that I want. Now I'm going to turn this over and attach the second hoop at the bottom. Like I said earlier, cardboard can also be used in place of the plastic. Now when I was done, I took it out and I spray painted just the inside silver and left the outside. I measured what I have because I would like to cover this up. The poster boards are going to be covered with mirror reflective paper and after that I'll be using it to cover the outside of what I just made. I'll be using these canvases for the pattern that will be in front of the coffee table and I got these canvases from Michael's craft store. I also got wooden plaques from Michael's craft store that I'm going to be using for the project. These are wider and much more longer than the canvases. These will be the main support for the coffee table when I have heavy items on it. I took them out and I spray painted them silver. I also spray painted the canvases as well. I'll be using a generous amount of Mod Podge on the inside of each of the canvases. And after that, I'm going to have my crushed mirror glass over it. I 
I repeated the same thing for the wooden plaques. I'm doing this to see how far apart the pieces will be on the design. These are self-adhesive mirror sheets that I'm going to be using on the wooden plaques and the canvases as well. A pack has three mirror sheets and I'm going to be using two packs for this project. These have protective films that I will be removing when I'm done with the project. And like I said earlier, they also have self-adhesive backings. I'm doing this while I'm waiting for it to dry. And when it was dry, I shook up the excess crushed mirror glass and decided to place them 3.5 inches away from each other. I attached the canvases with the hot glue gun and the wooden plaques with screws. When I was done, I removed the protective films that are over them. And here's what the coffee table looks like. I used the photo that was sent to me as an inspiration for this DIY project. And I really love the way it turned out. The glass that you see on top of it is 30 inches wide and it is really heavy. So yeah, this definitely can hold heavy items. I'm really glad you all stopped by to watch this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.